Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn about the second chapter in class H, queries, forms and reports. Let us get inside the video. Before doing all these, we are going to learn about relationship. As MS Access is following the relational data model, we are going to have so many tables in the same database. So, we are going to connect all these tables and that will make a relationship. So, relationship holds between database tables when one table has a foreign key that references the primary key of another table. What we are meaning here is the relationship is based on the key, some common field. Okay, so the common field is going to be called as foreign key and primary key. Okay, so about foreign primary key and foreign key, I'll explain later. So before setting the relationship, we should follow some rules. Okay, we have to keep some points in mind. The first one is the common fields need not have the same names. Okay, the field names cannot be the same name. It can be different. But while having like that, it, ha it must have the same data type. Okay, so you, you must have the same data type of the common fields. If the common fields are number or if one is auto number and the other is number, they must have the same field size property. So uh, how to set field size properties we have already learned in the first chapter. Okay, so these are the things we should keep in mind. Next, what are the keys? So as I mentioned earlier, we have primary key and foreign key. What is a primary key? A field which uniquely defines every record in a table. Suppose you are going to have multiple fields in your table and a single field which is going to have unique value. Suppose if you are taking a school bio data, we will be having like serial number, name of the student, admission number, date of birth and so. Okay. And here if you take roll number, the roll number starts from one for all the section. So when we are combining the whole school bio data, it is not possible to identify who is roll number one because all the classes, all the sections are having roll number one. To avoid this, we are going to have one thing which is called the unique field, maybe the admission number. So the admission number is a unique value in each and every student's record. Okay, so that's the primary key. Then what is the foreign key? Primary key of the first table is going to be called as foreign key in the second table. Now I'm going to have one table for my bio data and the other table for entering the marks. So in my bio data table, admission number is of primary key. When this comes to the next table, that is going to be called as foreign key. Okay. And here is an example. I'm having two different tables over here, departments and employees. Under department, I'm having department ID, department name. Under employee table, I have employee ID, employee name, hire date, salary, department ID. Now, in these two tables, department ID is the common one. So, I'm going to connect these two tables using this department ID. Now, if you check the first table, it is showing as a primary key. Department ID is a primary key for the first table. So, the same key, when it, the same field, when it is coming to the second table, the same column is going to be called as foreign key. So, that's the difference between primary key and foreign key. Okay. So, hope it is clear about primary key and foreign key. Next, we are going to learn about creating relationship. How are we going to create the relationship? For this, I'm just going to take you to my access page. So here, to create the relationship, we should have two tables. If you check here, I have one table. How to add one more table? Go to create, click on table. You will be getting table two. Go to design view and let it be named as table two. Okay, so here I'm going to have serial number. And then I'm going to have name one and then i'm going to have admission number okay and here i'm setting serial number as primary key i'm just saving it so now i'm just showing my first table design view in my first table i have serial number name one and admission number here i'm just going to change the primary key to admission number so in my second table I'm going to have serial number, name one, admission number, and in table one, serial number, name, class, and section. 
So now we are going to set the relationship for these two tables. For that, go to database tools. Here you have relationships options under relationship group. Click on relationship. You will be taken to a new tab which is ha having nothing on it. Okay. Now we are going to add the tables just by click and drag. I have got the first table along with my field names. Now I am just clicking and dragging my second table. Now if you check this, in these two tables, table 1 serial number is there, table 2 serial number is there. Okay. And in table 1, serial number is the primary key. In table 2, admission number is the primary key. But now here serial number is the foreign key. Now, while creating the relationship, we have to create the relationship between these two. So, how to do this? Just click on it, drag it and leave it on the serial number over here. Now, you will be getting a dialog box stating that edit relationship. Check in the first table, it is serial number. Second table, it is serial number. Just click on create. That's it. You have got the relationship. This line denotes that you got the relationship. You just connected these two tables. That's it. This is how you can create the relationship. Now, how to delete it? Click on this. Press the delete button or clear layout. Okay. So, I'm just pressing on delete button. Whether you are asking, uh, it is just asking for the permission. I'm just clicking yes. That's it. I'm going to do it one more time. Click and drag. Leave it over here and click create. That's it. Okay, so this is what called relationship. This is how we can create the relationship between the tables. Now, I'm just closing this. I'm just saving the relationship. Now, in the first table, I'm just entering some data. Class 8, Section A. I'm just coming to next one. Class 8, Section B. The third value, Class 8, Section C. Now, this is in Table 1. I'm just going to table 2, serial number 1. Okay, we just made the auto number. So, name is admission number 1234. Now, auto number we have given. So, the number will come automatically. Okay, CCC 1236. So, I've entered the data. So, now we have completed the relationship. The next topic is creating a query. How to create a query? What is a query? Query is the most powerful feature of MS Access which allows the user to retrieve specific information from the table as we have saved some data in a table and if you want to retrieve it, when you get it back, you can use the query. Okay. So, we can use queries to answer, to perform calculations, to combine data from different tables, add or modify or delete the data. Okay, so these are the things we can do in a query. And what are the types of queries available? First one is select query. Second one is action query. Select query is used to select some particular data from your table. Action queries are used to add the data, which is used with append queries. Change the data using update query. Delete the data using delete query. And you can even create the table by using make table query. Okay. So how to do this query design? So we have to go for query design to make this. So here is the query design. Now let me take you to the access and let us do that. So I'm in access now. I'm just coming to table one for creating the query. Go to create. So here we have queries group, query wizard, query design. So go to query design. So, here is my query design. Now, you can see query 1. Okay. Now, we are going to create the query table 1. So, first we need to add the tables to our queries. Now, if you click over here on the field, you can see all the field names from table 1 and from table 2. I'm just clicking on table 1 serial number. Once I selected the field name, I can see the table name automatically coming over here. Next sorting. This we'll do later. Next, show data. Yes. Criteria. I'm not going to give any criteria now. Next, the next field I'm selecting from table 2 name. Okay. Sorting, no sorting and no criteria. And next, 3. Here I'm just clicking on table 2 admission number and it is going to get sorted from descending order. Yes, it should be shown. And then 
the criteria it should be greater than 1 2 3 4 okay so make sure so if you go to table 2 you can see we have three data along with admission number 1234 1235 and 1236 and come over here and check we, i'm just giving it is great it should be it should be greater than 1234 okay so now i'm done with the query i'm just going to design and i'm clicking on run now you can see it is showing me the data i'm getting two datas because I have given like greater than 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So it is showing me data, data is like 1, 2, 3, 5 and 1, 2, 3, 6. Okay. So this is the use of query. This is what called selection query. We just did it. We just created. We just got some information. We just retrieved some information from the table which I have already done. So these are all about queries. Okay. The next we have creating a form. What is a form? We can use forms to control access to data. They act as a window, reach the database. A visually attractive form makes working with the database more user friendly and it can also help to prevent incorrect data from being entered. So forms are just, yes, exactly what you think about the form. It is just like application form where you can fill all the information. How to do this? How to create a form? Okay, for that, we have to go to create and then we have to click on forms. Okay. So here we have three types of view, form view, design view and layer view. Now I'm just going inside access and I'll explain all these things. Okay. So we are in the table now. So we are in the database now. Okay. So now I'm just going to create forms. I'm just going to create form for table one. So that's why I've selected table one. I'm just clicking on form. So now we have got options like form view, layout view, and design view. Now I'm just clicking on design view where I can design my form. So here it is just showing table one. I'm just changing the name into form one. Okay. And you can adjust even the size of this. I don't want this much bigger one. You can adjust the size of the boxes. So which is called design view where we are designing our form. Okay. I'm just going to design. I'm, I can go to themes and then I can select something whichever suits for my data. Okay. So this is how we can set the form design view. Next we have layout view. In layout view we can check the size. Okay. And you can just click and drag it like this to the center so this is for layout view okay so once you have done with this you can go to view and select form view you can see the forms now so this form is coming along with the data because some data is already there so to add a new data go here and click on new record now this asking you to enter the data i'm just typing it okay so that's it if i press enter key i'll be getting it okay so this is how we can change the data in that so now i'm just saving it by clicking over here okay so now go to table and check the value see the data has been updated okay so this is the use of form so now we have done with forms and finally we are going to see about reports how to create the report a report is an object in ms access it is used to display and print data in an organized manner so we have seen like uh, we just got one new table after applying the query and how to get that as a new table that can be done using a report so we can re create reports to view format and summarize the data so now i'm just taking you to ms access and i'll be showing you how to do that Welcome back here. So we are here in access now. I'm just going to create tab. Now we are going for report. So mostly we are completing all the things under create tab. Table we have done. Query design we have done. Form we have done. Now we are there in reports. Okay. I'm just clicking on reports. Now we are going to create the report. I just got the reports based on my table. 
okay so this is how a report look like i can ha i can design my reports i can change the color of the report i can change the fonts okay and then we can do more and more and more i can add add page number i can add date and if i want i can add logos okay and then i can even arrange my data i can format my data i can uh, set the page whether it is portrait or landscape okay so all these things i can do with the reports okay so here is my table here is my query this is my form and this is my report okay and if you want finally you can take this as a printout the form the report can be taken as a printout okay so these are all about the second chapter how to create queries and then forms and then reports okay so hope you are clear with this if you have any doubt feel free to put it in the comment box we'll meet in the next video thank you happy learning